everyone, it's me, K-Chan, and here's something out of the blue and spontaneous I wanted to do tonight. Um, somebody made a tier list for, um, The Sims 4 downloadable content, and I wanted to, uh, just rank these things just for the fun of it. <laughs> and if you hear my computer, I'm sorry, but... It's another time like this, I wish I invested in liquid cooling. <laughs> okay, so, um, we got this tier list here, and, um, there, um, I'm gonna rank these, and you'll see what, um, I rank these as. <laughs> Anyways, um, the categories are, at the way top, it's called... She's a necessity. That means favorite, and I get not favorite, but I mean, you can't play without it. And then there's the next one. It says I like her, and she's on my wish list. She's mid. Something isn't clicking, and <laughs> the last one is delete now. <laughs> okay, so um. <laughs> we'll just see how this goes, and um, I hope you enjoy. So, very first, uh, I guess I'm going to go with The Sims 4 base game. And let's just say it's on itself, it's not really that great. But you can't run the other games without the base game, so I can't. <laughs> Part of me is sitting here going, put it in delete now. But I'm not going to be that mean. I'm going to put this at she's mid. In the middle. I'm going to be generous. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay. Um. Next up, we have Get to Work, and I don't know about anybody else, but I love this expansion pack. I know it can be repetitive doing the same things and the same task over and over, but this is the stuff I crave on The Sims. Like, real active working places. I like to go and go with my sims on their day to work and help them do whatever they do and I think get to work um, is just really people are not fair on this expansion and I for one love it but she's not my favorite so I'm going to put get to work and I like her all right Next is Get Together. Oh, uh. <laughs> um, I'm going to be honest here. I hate this expansion pack. The only thing I like about this expansion pack is the world, Windenburg. I absolutely adore the world, but the whole groups and the hangout aspect is bland as crap to me and I don't use it at all I've probably used it the group um the group uh, feature about probably twice in all the years I've had since four so I want to put her at something isn't clicking because I, I'm not a fan all right, next is City Living. Okay. City Living is one of my favorite expansion packs, and I cannot play without it. They actually did a really good job with this expansion. And I love it. I love the city aspects, and I love the world. It, it just, and I love a 
apartment living. I think that is just so amazing. So I'm going to put her as a necessity. <laughs> um, okay, The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. <sighs> Once again, th this expansion pack is so shallow so empty and so ugh, the wrong mark i hardly ever use pets ever and they missed the point when they didn't add smaller animals and stuff it, it just i don't like it very much but i don't hate it so I'm going to put she's mid, to be honest. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. Seasons. It's a good pack. I like it. But she's not my favorite. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to put I like her. Wait, no. Well, what does she's on my wish list? I have about every almost every expansion and download comment. So, um, mm, oh, uh, uh, but I don't want to put she's mid. Okay, there, I like her. Moving on. Get Famous. This is a good expansion. If it didn't have the bugs. I remember when I played it all the time when they're getting their makeup done or they are um, um, getting a wardrobe and stuff like that. The stylist keeps messing up and never ever, um, well, they never get it right. So I lose the day, I lose the, um, goal set for it, and I just wish if it wasn't so buggy, it'd be good. So I want to put she's mid. <laughs> Because the bugs are really what. <sighs> yeah. Island living. <laughs> Mermaids are such a disappointment. I don't understand why occults cannot get the same good treatment as vampires. Mermaids in this game. I I've used them once because they are just there's nothing special about them so y'all are gonna hate me but delete it delete it <laughs> I, I, I just mm -mm, no universe discover university okay I know I am critical on the sims 4 like a lot I mean a lot but ever since I bought Discover University actually Discover University was was it my last pack I bought or was that or was that um the winter pack I can't think of its name right now but um Anyway, I bought Discover University, and for the first time in a long time, I actually enjoyed playing The Sims 4, because they made, to me, they made university interesting enough to keep you intrigued, and I was very, very happy with how the team done this expansion pack. So, I'm going to go, she is a necessity, because I actually love and adore 
this pack. Eco Living. It sucks. In my humble opinion, we didn't need a pack like this. But that's just my opinion. And you can disagree if you want to. And I'm going to put delete now. <laughs> okay, Snowy Escape. Wasn't that what it's called? Um. I don't hate it, but it's not a favorite. So I'm going to put she's mid. No, not she's mid. Actually, something didn't click in because they missed the mark with that. Plus the bugs. And I would just, no, moving on. Country, is it country living? Or country life? Lord, I don't know. <laughs> um... I personally... <laughs> I, I got a secret. I personally did not buy this pack. I kinda sailed the seven seas, if you get my drift. <laughs> it's okay. It's one of the better expansions. Um, but it is lacking and I'm still mad to this very day of what the team done in the trailers. I was so excited that there was a freaking rainbow cow. I thought that the team went ahead and done something like create a cow or create a chicken and I thought you actually could make a cow like you make in the pet maker you can make a rainbow cow like that or something that would have been amazing and then when I found out that the rainbow coat on your cow is actually um from a treat it wasn't even permanent. I was so angry. And I was felt so lied to. So that made my opinion go down. And it, it, it does some things good, but it is not not a hit in the park. I don't know this um category she's on my list wish list do you uh, okay I'm going to put um she's mid uh the free holiday gift pack I think that is uh I have it I don't know where to put it so I'm putting it on she's on my wish list because it's not bad I'm not complaining about free content so <sighs> what is this outdoor retreat like the first downloadable content of the sims 4 I wish you could actually live in Garnet Falls if you could actually live in that world, it would be great. Other than that, I am not really a fan of this. I mean, not at all. Maybe a little bit, but I don't use it. I probably went on vacation once. So I'm going to put... Something isn't clicking. Spotty. I use this a lot. I love that you can go and get a spa treatment. I always, when I start a new save, 
in Newcrest, I put down spas and um, massage parlors, and I love to take my sim there. I love it. So, I like her. We're going to put it there. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, all right. Next, Dine Out. Dine Out had an amazing idea. Amazing. But it fell flat when there is now going on years. It is still a broken buggy mess. I cannot enjoy a date or a dinner date or go out to dinner and stuff like that without it lagging. The simulation lag, I swear to God, people, the simu simulation lag has to be fixed. But I'm afraid from what I'm reading, it is unfixable, and that is a shame. Because simulation lag is one of the one huge reasons that The Sims 4 sucks. <sighs> Even though it's a buggy mess, I like the execution of the idea. I also think it would be higher on this list if you could actually play as a chef or a waiter. I think that'd be so awesome. Kind of be, kind of like, sort of like a get to work type of thing. That That's awesome in my opinion. But, hmm. Even though I, it has a buggy mess, I still have to rank it high because I like the idea. So I am going to put I like her because I do like her. <laughs> Vampires. Vampires Down Pat is one of the most best packs of The Sims 4. And the team actually done an amazing job with this pack. Uh, it's one of my favorites. It's 100% perfect for me, and I would give anything if our future occults use the skill tree like vampires. And with that said, she is a necessity in this house. <laughs> Parenthood. Parenthood, again, is one of my most favorite packs. I love family gameplay and anything to do with child sims, teen sims, and the whole generation aspect because generations is my favorite sims 3. Oh, <laughs> is my favorite one of my fave sims 3 packs. So parenthood does it right and the team done an amazing job on this and she is a necessity. Okay. Uh, okay. Jungle Adventure, or is it Jungle Living? <laughs> I use this once or twice. Eh. 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 <laughs> Strangeville. I hate it. I hate story driven packs. That, in my personal opinion has no place for being in The Sims 4. Delete this, please. Realm of Magic. I love occult sims. And the idea was great on paper. But it fell flat yet again. For me, Realm of Magic is just empty. It has no soul into it. I adore the magical world. I love the look of that world. I'd give anything if we could live in that world. And I like the occult, but once again, it needed to be a little more done like vampires. And this is why I'm begging and pleading the Sims team to actually take time 
and energy with a cult and make it amazing like vampires. I can't stress this enough. Okay. And with all that I said, she's mid. I'm sorry. We don't talk about Journey to Butthole, okay? Delete. Finished. Stupidest decision. Well, what? Well, <laughs> I say stupidest decision. But then there's Strangeville. And then there's the Disaster My Wedding Stories. So, I, I mean, we don't talk about Journey to Butthole, okay? <laughs> Enough said. Dream Home Decorator. Once again, I can't believe I'm saying this over and over. Once again, beautiful idea, but not well executed. This, I feel like this game pack, I think it's a game pack, pack should have been a stuff pack. I, I know that sounds weird, but yeah. So something is a game. My wedding stories has got to be the worst release of the Sims 4. The worst. The fact that the team made the team in EA made a whole spectacle of calling out Russian LGBTQ plus members and basically slapping them in the face and saying we aren't going to sell you this because this law which never really I don't think existed that damaged my outlook on EA even more than it has and I just hate that it started with this and then not to mention it's one of the worst buggy packs ever released the sims team not only that were quiet for so long and released a buggy pack when every game changer every almost every game changer the live stream and people who bought it even die hardcore sims fans were disappointed and that, ladies and gentlemen, is why I'm putting delete now. And y'all are going to hate me, but the kids, every single one, wait, <coughs> of them are going in delete now. Why did you EA make kits? If you wanted to give us some items and let us pick and choose, why in God's green earth didn't you just make a Sims 4 store? So that way, and have a feature where we could pick whatever we wanted to, like a, create a little bundle of whatever we wanted to and pay for it that way. Instead of releasing these for five dollars, and they're not even worth, in my opinion, five dollars. So, in my humble opinion, delete now all of them. In the <laughs> um, luxury stuff. Okay, I like. I actually like this kind of, but I hate that the butlers don't work. You can't. I love butlers with all my heart. You can't still have butlers broken. I want better butlers, but I'm going to put something isn't clicking. What is this one? Lord of mercy, I don't know what this is called. Uh, did they just sell us a hot tub? I, I can't remember. Um... Something isn't clicking? I, see, I, I've deleted this um, 
heck out of my mind ever since that god awful Sims 4 birthday hot tub stuff. <laughs> um, is it kitchen stuff? I actually use the ice cream maker, believe it or not. And I have nothing wrong with it. So go, I like her. Spooky stuff. Again, I like the um, items. And I like it. So I am going to go, I like her. <laughs> um, movie night. Again, I like... Well, these are just popping off. <laughs> again, I like the... Uh, well, then again... Uh, I mean, I like that we can watch our own movies in the backyard. But it's not... 100% perfect, I guess. So, meh, mid. Romantic garden. I love anything that is garden themed or beautiful structures and stuff and the wishing well. So, this is going on. I like her. It's like kids' room stuff. I love um, point given. Um, any um, CC, not CC. Any items that pertain to children, toddlers, stuff like that. So it's I like her. Mm, the lemonade pack. <laughs> the slidey, slidey slide. <laughs> the water slide pack. It's okay. I guess. And I like the bird eater. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I got these confused. I luxury party I thought there was butlers never mind this was butlers but it's still going something and clicking because you still got got my gosh darn butlers not working sorry I have a thing for butlers <laughs> Alfred Pennyworth <laughs> the Sean Tree version and then the Andy Serkis version Oh, okay, okay, quick, 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 okay. Sorry, uh, uh, <laughs> I was having a moment where I was sleeping. Anyway, moving on. Uh, I don't care about this pack. Delete. <laughs> uh, fitness, it's okay. I, I kind of use the climbing wall. I do like that item, by the way. I, I really do. So, um, she's mid. Toddler stuff. I like her because like I said I love anything with toddlers because toddlers here I go toddlers the Sims 4 toddlers are my most favorite lifestyle lifestyle um life sage well shit <laughs> okay are my favorite life stage and favorite things about the Sims 4 the team once again done an amazing job at toddlers and I know they can do better jobs at other things I just wish they put their mindset like they done toddlers and parenthood and discovery university and vampires if they could give us that quality content I would be so happy but yeah laundry day I'm one of those people that when they asked us that went, why did we choose laundry? It's not bad. I actually, I mean, I like being able to, um, uh, how do I put this? I like being able to do your own laundry, but it, she's mid. <laughs> we, just like Journey a Butthole, we do not like, we don't talk about my first pet stuff. You do not, Sims team, you do not. <laughs> you do not make a pack that requires another pack. Download content for download content. Downloadable content for downloadable content. No, 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 no. In my opinion, no. Delete. Wanna know something? The, how do you say this name? Uh, the Marshuno? Is that how you say it? 
I was not a fan in the beginning. And to me, I looked at this as kind of selling out, but, 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 before you roast me, um, I actually love the, the photo, 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 um, stuff that came with it, and the camera, and the portraits. So, I'm going to put, I like her, actually. Tiny home living. Uh, not bad, but not one of my favorites. So, she's mid. Nifty knitting. I feel so betrayed with Nifty <laughs> Because I voted for a hobby type, type pack like The Sims 2 Hobbies. But the fact that we only got knitting out of this and the team kind of tricked us. We, I mean, we vote. Oh, it is so. But I don't hate. It. But I'm still going to go. Something is a clicking. Uh, last but not least, uh, what is this spook? Not spooky. Paranormal stuff. Good idea. Not a very good execution. And Bone Hilda deserved better, you guys. Bone Hilda deserved so much better than this. Uh, actually, to me, uh, I'm going to go she's mid. Though I don't hate it, but I don't love it at all. Alright, everyone. So that is the um, tier ranking thing for the Sims 4 downloadable content. I really hope you enjoyed this. And <laughs> See, I can be nice about the Sims 4, and I do love aspects of it. It's just... Mm, there are so many things that it does wrong, but there are also things that it does right. So, with that being said, thank you so much, everyone, for tuning into this, and I hope you enjoyed. If you like what you see, please subscribe and like and comment on this video because it helps me out as a super teeny tiny small channel. Any amount helps, and I, I thank you for joining me, and I hope you enjoyed this, and hope for a better tomorrow. Bye, everyone.